It's no secret that Tommy and I love using Architectural Salvage for all our projects. We totally do. These are some of our greatest hits. So I think we should look like we're on an album cover. Okay. Number one, use Architectural Salvage as art. This is a piece of a massive capital hung on the wall. Columns in singles or in pairs. A discarded Victorian house gable looks awesome on a big blank wall. Number two, antique Victorian corbels can give you support in achieving your wildest window bench dreams. They're also an easy and affordable way to make a desk. Number three, repurpose an existing piece of furniture to give it a new lease on life. This vanity used to be an antique desk. A counter, a sink, and a lick of paint will take you from credenza to extravaganza. Number four, bring the old doors in. Turn a pair of old carriage doors into a groovy sliding barn door. Oh my god, hi you guys. Or you can use an old pair of doors to make a great entrance. Please don't panic in the powder room. Instead, select antique paneling for a very vivacious vanity base. Number six, create a one-of-a-kind mirror with personality. If you find a great frame, why not put mirror in it? Yep, I'm still in here because I can't stop thinking about what an amazing mirror these old windows make. Number seven, Barn beams really dress up your rec room. This was a good idea. This was an awesome idea, look at it. Pat yourself on the back. You know what else they're good for? A really chic console. How about this very viable vanity? Number eight, repurpose a collection of mismatched newels as the anchor for your new railings. Make your mantle much more marvelous using old things to support the shelf. Here and here. Number nine, make a mantle. Use an old panel and use up some extra floorboards to make an awesome mantle statement. And number 10 in Tommy and Sarah's top 10 ways to use architectural salvage off the grid. Use old lumber to make an incredible table fit for a feast for a king. For a queen.